go to photography school. Well, not really. You can, however, borrow a few universal techniques that will give your photos a professional looking edge. Welcome to Seven Shifts Academy, guided lessons for restaurant workers, owners, and operators to gain the knowledge they need to grow their business and succeed in their careers. We eat with our eyes first, and you can be certain that customers see what your food looks like before they decide to push go on delivery or sit down at the table. Whether they're checking out your Google reviews, scrolling through Instagram, or browsing your site, high quality restaurant food photography is essential to how diners experience your business online. While you could hire a professional, food photography costs can tip into the thousands per session and take weeks to coordinate and receive images. In these lean times for the restaurant business, there are a number of restaurant food photography tips and tricks that you can use to create professional quality images even if your only camera is a smartphone. First things first, lighting is king. Perhaps the most important factor that will separate a good and bad photo is light. It can make or break a photo and natural light will always reign supreme. Luckily, a good window is all you need. Food looks best when the light is coming from behind or from the side. Each will create slightly different shadows, so try out different dish placements to see what you like best. Be sure to turn off any overhead lights as they may tint the photo yellow. Natural light brings out the best in these lemons, whereas the overhead lights make them unappealing. For a little bit more control, you can use a white piece of cardboard or paper to bounce or reflect the light onto different areas of the food. Have another person hold the reflector and experiment with angling it until it looks right. And when it comes to flash, it's like stock from a box. Don't use it. It will make your photos look harsh, flat, and unappetizing. The flash blows out the photo and gives it an amateur look. The next tip is to shoot photos at different angles. That burger may look mouthwatering when it drops in front of you at the table, but a photo from the same angle won't have the same effect. Different types of food look their best at a certain angle. Here are a few general rules to stick by when composing your shots. Straight on is best for food with layers in height burgers, sandwiches, and stacks of pancakes. This angle also works well for cakes and tall beverages such as beer. The straight on angle showcases the layers and texture of this fried chicken sandwich from Prairie Sun in Saskatoon. Diner's view is another angle where you see the food in front of you. It's best for capturing dishes with depth and texture, like a bowl of ramen or a slice of pie with ice cream. It's also a great angle for shorter drinks such as coffee or cocktails. A 45 degree diner's view shows the layers of this mac and cheese from Otto's Beer Hall in Toronto. Top down, also known as a flat lay, is what makes the influencer risk their life by standing on your chair to take a picture. It's the best angle for dishes like pizza or avocado toast. It also is the optimal angle for capturing charcuterie boards or collections of dishes for a preset menu. This avocado toast from page one in Toronto is a great example of a top down perspective that works. Lastly, add a little bit of action. It should look pretty, but don't forget that food is for eating. Add some hands or action to the shot to create a more enticing photograph. Some examples of this are a huge cheese pool from a pizza or grilled cheese, a cocktail being passed around the bar, a noodle pool like cheese pool, but with pasta or ramen, chocolate or maple syrup drizzled on pancakes or dessert, chips and dip in action, a cocktail being handed across the bar like this one at Drift in Saskatoon is much more enticing than one sitting by itself. Another great way to add some human touch to your photos is to take one with a person holding a dish in front of them. There's nothing like a delicious looking plate of food being presented right in front of you. If hands will be a part of the shot, find your best hand model on staff and make sure to keep hands nice and clean for the photos. Getting photos of dishes for your menu and online presence doesn't need to break the bank. With the right lighting, angles, and movement, you can create interesting photos outside of a professional studio. Head on to part two of this video set to learn more about food photography. Thank you so much for watching. For more on marketing in the restaurant and hospitality industry, subscribe to the Seven Shifts YouTube channel. Want to show off your knowledge? Sign up for Seven Shifts Academy to access free course material with quizzes and certificates. And don't forget to check the description box for links to other useful resources.